He's got a bunch of wizard gas tanks back here. I'm gonna try to haul some of this stuff out. The first thing that we want to do is be respectful to the car. So we put a blanket on it. Let's put these bad here, boys Here, Frankie. Up. Hold on here, I'm being careful. Even though the car has an older restoration, it still should be respected like it was done yesterday. All right, so this is what I can see so far. Okay, wow. Which is crazy awesome. Wow. <laughs> so he must have been like Mr. Wizard. Yes. Okay, so look at that tank right there. Hold that tank. Okay, this tank right here is for what they call an H model wizard. This one is for a J model. See how this is embossed wow. in the tank itself? When you're talking wizards, you're talking a lot of different models. You're talking sportsmen's, you're talking pacemakers, you're talking H models, talking J models, WZ frames. I mean, there's so much of it to keep track of. I think this is probably the best one yeah. mm -hmm. just because it's original paint and then it's got that yeah. running instruction decal yeah. on it, you know? Here, that's the original decal on that one, see? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so these all would have had that decal on there. This, you can barely read it, but see how it says Smith Motor Wheel? Yes. Mm -hmm. So this would have been something that attached to the rear of the bicycle. There was an engine underneath this. This is the fuel tank. It's not in great shape, but you can read the decal. Yeah. And then this is an original paint rear fender for a Schwinn, okay? Ooh, and it's in nice. some of the original paper. So this was never mounted on a bicycle. It doesn't nope. have a fender brace or anything on it. The biggie is the Schwinn fender. It's wrapped in paper because it's new, old stock, dead stock, never sold, never installed on a bike. It's in my hands. So somebody that has an original bicycle, mm -hmm. they could use this, you know? So this is all great stuff. This is what I was talking about as far as like anything and everything could be desirable. These tanks don't have a tremendous amount of value, but they mm -hmm. have value to them. The embossed tanks here, I'm doing a little over 100 on, mm -hmm. and then just the ones that aren't embossed at all, the H model tanks, just like, you know, 40, 50 yeah. bucks, depending on the condition of them. Um, I'm thinking like, uh, like 800 bucks. Oh, we were thinking about maybe 1,000. How about nine, halfway? We can do, I'll do that, I'll do that. I appreciate Perfect. you guys even letting us Thanks. look around. Yeah, thank you guys, are you thank kidding me? Thank you. It's fascinating to me that he accumulated so much yeah. of, of like mm -hmm. one thing. He yeah. was like fixated on yeah. it, and that's how I get on stuff mm -hmm. too. He might have been fixated on bikes for a few years, then he may have switched to phonographs for a few years, then he may have switched to music boxes, then he never got rid of anything, so we have collections. Yeah of a bunch of things. So well, who should I deal with here, Linda or Diane? I think I mean, you like yeah. Diane better. Okay, Diane, that's perfect. <laughs> so I found these, these are mobile lube cans. You know, one time these were pretty hot. Uh -huh. The Pegasus is the big number here. Now these are a little different. These used to bring 50, 60, 70 dollars a piece. Wow. Like anything else, these went down too, but that was the money shot, the boat. Mm. So you got two of these, and then this I found like this can. Not real familiar with that, because I never had a boat myself. <sighs> if it had a boat on it, it'd be killer. Yeah. But it's got a little oil mm. can here, which is still kind of cool. Mobile lube, dime a dozen. The marine one, dime a dozen. DSL, I've never seen this one before. So I'm buying all these to get the one can. $100 for all five. Okay, it's a deal. I'm hoping the DSL can is the money. I like oil, and oil cans always seem to find me. Look, come on, whip it on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see, we got to start. Yeah, All oh, right. you do. Let me see, let me see, where, let me see where Mike's at. The oil cans were really a surprise. Right. Frank, here, we would have tossed them. Yeah. Go, oh, we Frank. Oh, another one? Yes, for you. Oh, they didn't. There you go. Oh, uh, thank you. Your favorite. See? So far, you've, uh, you've got lunch. Let's build up the dinner. Oh, <laughs> and drinks? It's like a day-to-day -day treasure hunt. I'm out there looking for rusty gold. I'm looking for the unusual and impossible. It's back roads, it's dumpster diving, it's flea markets, it's people's homes.